What's good, everybody? It's Big Game James here with another Coach J Film Day. And today we're going to be talking about Virginia Tech cornerback Caleb Farley. Six foot two, 207 pound corner, as you can see him at this top corner right here. Number three, he plays the left cornerback position. I think this was a 4 2 5 that they were in this set right here. They played a lot of cover in, in their scheme, which we see Dan Quinn's scheme is heavy cover three, and you, they played a lot of cover one, cover two, cover three in this play. He's playing number, uh, he's number three once again. He's in the slot on this play. The receiver gets a uh, catch on him. But basically, the positives or great attributes that this kid has, as I said, length, 6'2", 207, probably can get a little bigger. Speed is all world, 4'3". He said he clocked a 4'2 when he was in high school, but he didn't want to tell nobody that because they didn't believe him. As you see him here at the bottom of the corner, he takes on this block right here. He's number three, he's the left cornerback. Uh, but man, length, uh, speed, makeup ability, that's some of his biggest attributes. Um, can press you, but hasn't played a lot of it. But he's opportunistic, had six interceptions last year. Only negative, tackling. As you can see this play right here, he gives up on the play, didn't have the awareness. Should have stayed with this play and made the tackle. And there's a couple plays where he didn't break down like you wanted. As you can see right here, he could have made this tackle, but he, in my opinion, kind of gave up on it. Uh, not the greatest tackler. Had 21 missed tackles out of a career 80 attempts, so he's got to get better with that, breaking down. But I think he can get better. They don't pay a top corner uh, for their attacking buzz. You can see they send him on a blitz right here, and they send him on multiple blitz in this Wake Forest game. But they pay him for that coverage ability, and he can definitely do that. He's opportunistic, has six interceptions um, in 2019. He was an opt-out player, 43 tackles, six interceptions, 19 pass defense. And uh, he's nice. As you can see this play right here, I think, just watch this. He's not going to get the pass on this play, but look at that ability right there. Look how I can stay with that receiver. Now, the next play that they're going to do here, they were trying to set him up with a double move all game. And this is the play they try to get it off on him. But this is where they show, mm, they got him a little bit, but you can see that makeup ability. Look how quick he can make up ground right there. And the receiver doesn't get that play. That's one of his huge, biggest attributes is if he gets beat off that line of scrimmage, he has that makeup ability to catch up with the receiver, and that's what you're going to need because it does happen in the NFL, and his recovery speed is all world. It's ridiculous. He played the quarterback position in high school, had a total of 58 touchdowns his senior campaign, as you can see right here. This is the play where he doesn't. I don't like how he dived on this tackle. You got to make a better tackle on this play, but he was a quarterback in high school. His senior season, he rushed for over 2,500 yards ran for like 37 touchdowns passed for 21 um had a total of 58 total touchdowns i mean you can see he's an athlete he came in virginia tech on the more offensive side of the ball so he's relatively young at the position much like the trevin Diggs, who came in as a receiver at alabama last year you can see comes in on his blitz again so he's relatively young at the position so you can see a lot of upside now i told y'all now i think this is a play right here look at this he breaks up this play look at that bam you love that you love that. That's what you want to see in your cornerback. And he was doing this all game. He's lock up. You like him to be more physical in that, that run game, but that can be that can get better. But if you're talking about Sertain, JC Horn, and Farley, this guy is one of these top guys, as you can see right here. You're not getting that play, dog. He's one of the top guys. Now I told you I love JC Horn, his ability, his tenacity, the bloodlines. But this Farley kid, he's nice. And Dallas is picking 10th. If he's available still, he'd be very hard to pass up. You're pairing him with the Trevin Diggs. You're feeling good about what you're going in the future. Um, so that's just a little bit of my thoughts on Caleb Farley. Um, we'll have some more videos coming up, especially on the cornerback position. But as a top 10 selection, the Cowboys have, and you're looking at a corner, Caleb Farley is not a bad selection to go with in this 2021 draft. Check it out. Tell me how you like this video. More will be coming up. Silver and Blue Nation, Big Game James. I'm out. Peace.